Hi everybody, this is Courtney with Fiber Fox Studios. Today we're going to be working on the butterfly poncho that I have just shown you guys in my last podcast. This uh, poncho, I have designed it to be worked in size 3 yarn. I used the Mandala colorway in Cupid. And I've got to go ahead and get started and explain just a few other things. This stitch pattern is done in multiples of 14 plus 8 at the end. And to start out your adult sizes anyway, to start out your piece, most of these are going to be one size fits most. So for sizes small through 2X, you're going to chain 92. For sizes 3X through 4X, you're going to chain 120. And for sizes 5X and 6X, you're going to chain 148. That information is going to be on the screen as well as down below in the description. I put all of the information, even how much yarn you need to um, purchase, down there in the description. So please refer to that if you have any questions or need any extra help. So we're going to get started by going ahead and doing a slip knot. So you're going to wrap your yarn around your two fingers, is how I do it. The tail is right here. So this is the end of my yarn right here. And I've got my working yarn right here in between my thumb and my index finger. So I'm going to grab that and pull it over here in between these two fingers. And then I'm just going to simply pull backwards. That creates my slip knot. So you're going to go ahead and get started. And for absolute beginners, I'm going to show you how you start. You're going to have your working or your slip knot here on your hook. And you're going to grab your working yarn with your hook and you're going to pull it through the loop. And that's your first chain. And you're going to continue to do the same exact thing until you have reached the desired number of chains to begin your project for the size that you're making. So you're going to go ahead and pause here and you're going to continue to chain until you've reached or until you've created all the chains you need to start your size. Alright, and I'm back. I've got the number of chains I need for the sample piece that I'm doing to teach this stitch. So we've got our loop here on our hook and we're never going to count that. We're going to count back six of these chains. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and six. So here's my sixth one right here. I'm going to wrap my yarn and I'm going to do a double crochet right here into the sixth chain. Just like that. I'm going to wrap my yarn, pull up a loop, wrap again, pull through two, wrap again, pull through two. And that's how you do a double crochet. So now we're going to chain four, and this chain four begins our repeat. So one, two, three, and four. And now we're going to skip the next five stitches down here on our foundation. One, two, three, four, and five. And here in the sixth chain, or sixth, sixth stitch, that's tongue twister, we're going to go ahead and wrap our yarn and do a double crochet, just like so. And we're going to chain two. One and two. And we're going to wrap our yarn again. And we're going to go right here into that same exact stitch again. So we're going to squeeze in another double crochet right there into that same stitch. Now we're going to chain two again. One and two. Wrap our yarn. And we're going to go back into that same stitch again right there into that same exact stitch. We're going to do another double crochet. And now we're going to do this one more time. We're going to chain two, one and two, wrap your yarn, go back down to that same exact stitch and do another double crochet. Now you're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four. And we're going to go down here on our chain, our beginning foundation chain, and we're going to skip five stitches and go into the sixth stitch. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and here in the sixth one, I'm going to do a double crochet. And then I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to skip one chain down here, one stitch, skip one and do a double crochet right there in the very next. So I'm skipping here and going right here into this next stitch and doing a double crochet. And that ends the repeat. So this is how this ends up looking. So this over here basically is counting as if it is a double crochet, chain one. And then we have a double crochet, chain four, skipping five stitches and working into the six down here. And we do a double crochet, chain two, Double crochet, chain two, 
double crochet, chain two, so that we end up with three chain two spaces, and then we end with a double crochet into the same stitch, chain four, skip over five, and then in the sixth one we do a double crochet, chain one, skipping one stitch, and then we do a double crochet in the very next, and that's the end of our repeat. So you're going to continue on down your row in the exact same manner, and I'm going to work this one more time with you, and I will make sure that we mark where you can rewind to if you need more help. So we're going to begin our repeat again by chaining four, one, two, three, and four. Now we're going to skip five stitches down here in our chain, one, two, three, four, five, and in the sixth stitch we're going to do a double crochet. Now we're going to chain two, one, and two. And go right back down into the same exact stitch and do a double crochet again. Just like so. And we're going to chain two, one, and two. Going right back down into the same exact stitch. Right there, same stitch. We're going to squeeze in another double crochet. And then we're going to chain two one more time. And we're going to wrap our yarn, go back down to the same exact stitch, and do a double crochet. Now we're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four. And we're going to go back down and we're going to skip five stitches down here on our foundation row. One, two, three, four, and five. In the sixth stitch, we're going to do a double crochet. And then we're going to chain one and do a double crochet to end that repeat. So we're going to skip one right here and do a double crochet in the very next stitch. And that ends your repeat. And this is what I have so far, hopefully get most of that into the camera. So you're going to stop here and you're going to continue on in the same manner. You can rewind back to the point that I have marked if you need more help, but you're going to continue on down. So you're going to pause here and then you're going to meet back up with me at the end of your row when you've done your last double crochet, chain one, skip one, double crochet, and that will end out your row. You won't have any more stitches left to work in. Now we're going to go ahead and come back and we're going to chain four to begin our next. The chain four is counting as a double crochet, chain one, and we're going to turn our work. And now we're going to go ahead and do a double crochet right here into the top of this double crochet. So what we've done here is we've begun out, this is our first double crochet, chain one. So we're skipping one and we're doing a double crochet. So we're just continuing the same little square basically to begin at, it's going to be at your beginning and your ending of your row, each and every row. So now what we're going to do is we're going to chain two, one and two. And down here on this chain four from the previous row, we're going to skip two stitches and go into the third stitch with a single crochet. So I'm skipping this stitch, skipping this stitch, and going right here with a single crochet. And that chain two is the beginning of your repeat. Forgot to mention that, I apologize. So now we're here, we've done our single crochet. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna wrap our yarn, and right here, if you're looking at your work, this stitch right here is a double crochet from the previous row, and we're going to do a double crochet right there in the top of that stitch. So we're going to go into it and do a double crochet. Now here in this chain two space right here, we're going to go ahead and do three double crochets directly into that chain two space. So there's my first one. Here's my second. And here is my third. And now we're going to do a double crochet right here into this double crochet from the previous row. So you're gonna go right there on the top of that stitch and do a double crochet. 
And now we've met here, we're at the center basically of those chain two double crochets from the previous row. Right here in this next chain two space, we're gonna do one double crochet. So if you go back and count, right here is our first double crochet that we made. We're gonna have a total of six double crochets right in a row. There's six of those there. Now we're going to chain two and right back into that same chain two space, right there in that same one, you're gonna do a double crochet and we're gonna work our way down the other side. So there's a double crochet. Now right here into this top of this double crochet from the previous row, we're gonna go ahead and put a double crochet. Just like so. And now we're gonna go right here in this chain two space and just like we did on the other side, we're gonna work three double crochets right there into that chain two space. So we're coming around and we're working right around those stitches. We're going just around it, just like that. There's my second. And last but not least is my third. Just like so. And now we're here at the end of the section. We have this last double crochet left. We're gonna go ahead and wrap our yarn and work a double crochet right there into the top of that stitch. So now if we stop where we're at and we look at our work, you've created your first butterfly basically. Looks like a triangle right now. So if you take a look at this, we have one, two, three, four, five, and six double crochets going down the other side. So now, if you remember when we started over here, we had to skip two stitches. But on this side, we're only gonna skip one because we're gonna anchor right here in the second stitch. So we're skipping this first right here and we're going right here into the next one. So we're going into this stitch just like so, doing a single crochet. So if you look, we have the same thing over here, doing the same thing. Now we're gonna chain two, and we're gonna be skipping over these two chains from the previous row, and we're gonna go right here in the top of this double crochet and do a double crochet. And we're gonna chain one, and we're gonna skip this chain down here, go right here into this double crochet from the previous row and do a double crochet. And that ends our repeat. So when you lay your work down and you take a look at it, you've got the same thing happening over here as you do right here. So I'm gonna pull this apart so you can kind of see a little bit better. Hopefully that's showing. Go like that. So if you take a look at it, it's creating the same exact effect, just in reverse. So now we're gonna begin that repeat again, and I'm gonna do it with you one more time. So we're going to begin our repeat by doing a chain two. And we're gonna skip two stitches down here on this chain that we created, the chain four from the previous row. So we're gonna skip, skip, and go into the third and do a single crochet. And now we are going to wrap our yarn and we're going to do a double crochet right here. If you look at where you are on your pattern, you're gonna do a double crochet right here into this very first double crochet. And now we're going to do three double crochets into this first chain two space directly into the space, working right around that chain. So there's my first one. Here's my second. Here is my third. Now we're gonna do a double crochet right here into the top of this double crochet from the previous row. And then we're gonna do a double crochet. We've come here to this chain two space. We're gonna do a double crochet right there in the chain two space. Now we're gonna chain two and we're gonna go back into that same chain two space and we're gonna do another double crochet. Right there into that same space. 
Now we're going to do a double crochet right here in the top of this double crochet from the previous row. And now we're at the chain two space again. So we're going to do three double crochets right there into that next chain two space. There's one. Here's two. And three. Now we're going to go into our very last double crochet right here. If you take a look at your work, going into this last one and doing a double crochet right there on the top of the stitch. Now we're going to skip one stitch right here. We're skipping this one. And we're going to go into the second stitch right here. We've only got four before we hit our double crochet. So we're going right here into the second one. doing a single crochet to lock that down and now we're going to chain two and we're going to come over here and we're going to work a double crochet right here into this next double crochet from the previous row we're going to chain one we're going to skip one stitch we're at our chain where we began so we're going to skip one stitch and we're going to go right here into the second because that is acting as that chain is acting as our double crochet. So we're going to go right there into that second one and we're going to do a double crochet and that ends the repeat. So you're going to continue on down your row until you've worked in the same exact manner in all of your stitches that you have to begin your poncho. And we will meet back up when you're ready to move on. I'm going to show you how to do your next setup row and then from that point forward it's exactly the same each and every row forward. So it's a two row repeat. It really, really is. These two rows is one repeat. So you're going to end up doing a series of these and I'll put that on the screen and down in the description, you're going to end up doing for the one size fits most small to 2X. You're going to do this, this right here, same thing, 13 times over. So you're going to pause here and we're going to move on and when you're ready to meet back up at the end of your row, we'll move on up so I can show you how to do your setup row. And you've met back up with me at the end of your row. You've done your last double crochet right here into the previous row, the very last one into the double crochet from the previous row, or in this case it's going to be a chain. Now we're going to chain four. And each of your rows is going to begin the same way. You're going to chain four each time to begin your row. You're going to turn your work. You are going to wrap your yarn and work into the very next double crochet. So you're not working into the crochet, the double crochet that you're coming out of with this chain four. You're skipping over this chain one and you're going right there into that double crochet right next to it. So you're going to work a double crochet in the top of that. And now you're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four. It's the beginning of your repeat. And you're going to move immediately over here into this chain two space that we created. After we did our six double crochets, we did a chain two. So we're going to do a double crochet right there into that chain space. And then we are going to chain two, one and two. And we're going to repeat that again right there into that same exact space now we've got to do this two more times one and two and we're going to come back down into the same chain space and do a double crochet you're going to chain two again so this is our last time we're doing this we're going to go back into that chain two space and you're going to do a double crochet if you stop and take a look you've got three chain two spaces and that's exactly what we need so we have four double crochets and each of those is separated by a chain two space so we end up with this perfect little point to work into so now we're going to chain four one two three and four and we're going to move over here to these double crochet chain one double crochets and we're going to work a double crochet right here into this very first double crochet on the previous row so we're skipping over all of this all six of these double crochets we're skipping over this chain two 
and that single crochet chain two I should say and we're coming over here to this double crochet to our little square section that we're making and we're going to do a double crochet now you're going to chain one and you're going to do a double crochet in the top of this next double crochet so you're skipping over the chain one space and going right there into that double crochet and that ends the repeat for this row so we're going to go ahead and do this together again so we're going to begin our repeat with a chain four one two three and four and now we're going to come over here we're going to skip over this chain two that's left the single crochet all of these double crochets and we're going to come into this chain two space and we're going to do a double crochet we're going to chain two one and two we're going to do a double crochet we're going to chain two one and two we're going to do a double crochet all working into that same chain two space got two so far one and two we want to make sure that we work in that same chain space and we're going to do a double crochet so we've done a double crochet chain two double crochet chain two double crochet chain two so we have a total of four double crochets we have one two three chain two spaces now we're going to chain four one two three and four and now we're coming over to our double crochet chain one double crochet we're skipping over all of this and we're going to do a double crochet right in the top of this double crochet from the previous row we're going to chain one and we're going to do a double crochet at the end of the row to finish off that repeat so we're going to in my case we're going to be counting up one two three and we're going to go into the top of the third stitch for the rest of you it's just going to be a double crochet that you're working into to finish out your row so you're going to continue on working in the same exact manner when you get to the end of your row you're just going to go count three up on that chain from the previous row and crochet your double crochet directly into that third chain so that gives you the same effect of a double crochet chain two at the end of your row so that is the end of the repeat I'm going to put on the screen where you can rewind to and then from there on you're going to be working in the same exact manner over and over until you get the total length of your project um, completed you're going to make two exactly matching basically large rectangles you're going to do two of those for me it ended up being a total of 26 rows so from the size small through this 2x it was a total of 26 rows and then i will have down in the description and on the screen the number of rows you need to complete for the other sizes you're going to complete two identical squares or i'm sorry rectangles and then we're going to meet back up when you've got both of those completed and i'll show you how you connect those how you sew up your side and how you are going to go about doing your edging i'm going to go ahead and do the row two so this is our row one now this is how all of your first rows are going to be it's a two row repeat i'm going to go ahead and show you how you go ahead and work this next row the row two and then from there I'll set up where you can rewind in this um, so you can if you need more help I'll have it set up so that you can rewind to certain spots and I'll mark those spots on screen for you so I'm going to go ahead and show you how you go ahead and start just like we're going to be starting every single row you're going to chain four you're going to turn your work you're going to wrap your yarn and you're going to skip this chain space and you're going to go right here into this double crochet and do a double crochet now we're going to chain two one and two we're going to skip two stitches and go here into the third with a single crochet the chain two is the beginning of our repeat we've got a single crochet now we're going to wrap our yarn and do a double crochet right here into this double crochet from the previous row now we're going to work three double crochets right here into this chain two space here's my first second 
and third. Now we're going to work a double crochet right here into this double crochet from the previous row. And we're going to do a double crochet right here into this chain two space. If you go back and count, you have a total of six double crochets right here on the side. We're going to chain two, one and two. We're going to wrap our yarn, go back into that same exact chain two space and do a double crochet. Now we're going to wrap our yarn again, going into this very next double crochet and doing a double crochet right into the top of that stitch. You're going to wrap your yarn again and you're going to do three double crochets right here into this chain two space. Here's one, two, and three. Now we're going to do a double crochet right here into this very last double crochet. And now we are going to skip this stitch right here. We're going to skip one chain and we're going to move immediately into that second chain and do a single crochet. Now we're going to chain two and we're going to come over here. We're now at these little squares. We're going to do a double crochet in the very first double crochet. We're going to chain one. We're going to skip this chain. And we're going to do a double crochet right here in the very next double crochet. And that's the end of that repeat. So we end up doing those little squares. So now we're going to do this together one more time. We're going to chain two. We're going to skip two on this chain down on the previous row. One, two. And in the third chain, we're going to do a single crochet. Now we are here at this section right here where we're doing our double crochets. So we're going to wrap our yarn and do a double crochet right here in this first double crochet. We're going to go right into there, do a double crochet. Now we're going to wrap our yarn and do three double crochets right here into this chain two space. So we're going to do one, two, and three. Now we're going to do a double crochet right here into this double crochet from the previous row. And we're going to do a double crochet right here into this chain two space. Now we're going to chain two, one and two, and we're going to go back down in that same exact chain two space and we're going to do a double crochet. just like so. Now we're going to wrap our yarn and we're going to do a double crochet right here into this double crochet from the previous row. And we're going to wrap our yarn and do three double crochets into this chain two space. Here's my first. Here's my second. And here is my third. Now we're going to wrap our yarn and we're going to go right here into this double crochet. It's our very last one in this section and we're going to do a double crochet. So we had six double crochets coming up, chain two, six double crochets coming back down on the other side. And now we are going to skip the very first chain down here. We're going to skip one chain and go immediately into the second chain and do a single crochet and that locks our stitches down in place. Now we're going to chain two, one and two, and you're going to do a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and you're going to continue on down your row, and then you're going to meet up at the um, very end when you have two panels completed, same exact size. And like I said, for mine, I did a total of, for mine, I did a total of 13 sets basically so it's two rows it's a two row repeat so that would be 26 rows total to do the majority the one size fits most so if you are doing one of the larger sizes you're going to do um, if you're doing the 3x 
3x sorry my camera 3x to 4x size you are going to do a total of 16 sets so you're going to do have 16 of these when you count it out which is going to end up being 32 rows and if you are doing the size 5x to 6x you are going to do this 19 times and you are going or 19 sets of these so that means you're going to have a total of 38 rows on each of your rectangles so you're going to do two of those all this information is going to be down below in the description for you and you'll be able to go ahead and complete out the two panels that you need to do this poncho and then once you have those completed we'll go ahead and move on to part two of this tutorial where we're putting these together sewing up our sides and adding in stitches to connect the back panel to the front panel and I'll go all go over all of that in the part two of this tutorial I am going to go ahead and break it up into part two so I can get this up tonight so or by Friday so that you guys can see how you complete this work when you put your panels together when we actually form them that's where we flip this over and it becomes the pretty butterfly shape to me anyway. It looks like a butterfly, so that's why I'm calling this a butterfly poncho. I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. And please like, subscribe, share, and comment below. And let me know how I'm doing. You guys have a great night. Thank you.